All right, we'll let it come up here. Okay. Start out here with this comment. I see some of you have already answered it, but uh, Brian, I love you. You need to read and memorize 1 Corinthians 13 and memorize it. You already said to memorize it. That's kind of redundant there. <laughs> Does no good to be tearing others down. If you've got the great love of Jesus, you should be edifying, not tearing. Um, Paul warned the brethren about false prophets night and day with tears. Um, when somebody comes around and they pretend that they are a Christian and they're actually a minister of Satan, their purpose is to damn people to hell. And there are certain things that brethren can agree to disagree on. Certainly uh, diet is one of them. Um, different cultures, some eat meat, some eat more vegetarian type of stuff, whatever. They're, we're not supposed to despise each other on that. Um, brethren can also disagree on the thing of physical head coverings for women. Some cultures have that. Um, and then the third one is the celebration of holidays. Those are the three areas of liberty. Um, of course, we can, you know, if you have a black uh, leather cover on your Bible and I have one that's red, well, that's not something to argue about. Okay. Um, certain men like to have beards. Certain men don't. Whatever. All right. I'm not going to tear a man down because he doesn't have a beard. But what Robert Breaker says in this study is just beyond blasphemy. I was working on the study notes for a sermon that I have upcoming. It is called The Blood Atonement is Useless Without This. Right there are the study notes. Not going to show them for very long because it's top secret. Um, and it's going to be a really good study. Uh, There's some things that this lying heretic right here, Robert Breaker, does. He takes people away from calling upon the name of the Lord to be saved, asking the Lord to save you, coming to the Lord in prayer with a broken, contrite spirit. This devil teaches against that, thereby teaching a false uh, gospel. You believe in a false gospel, you won't go to heaven. It's just as simple as that. And so I was doing this, the study for this. I thought, I wonder if he says this one particular heresy in his teaching. Um, so I, I endured. Uh, to the end of the thing, I watched one of his studies here and, and um, while doing some work online and things, just to see what he says, see if he said this heresy that I was going to rebuke in my study. He didn't come right out and say it, so I'm not going to be using that for that. But I've heard I heard him say something in here and I thought, what did he just say? And mm -hmm. Oliver, my son here, he was sitting right beside me and we both kind of went. Huh? And even he's, you know, what? <laughs> and, and we went back and I listened to it again. I thought he couldn't have just said that. I thought there's no way he could have said that. He did. He did. Yeah, he did. Um, yeah, we can do a little question and answer at the end here. But uh, we're going to get into this. I'm going to show you the scriptures from the scriptures why he is absolutely not just wrong, but blasphemous. So we go into about 40 minutes and 37 seconds. We'll start right about here. Okay. Um, I think I have it set to share system audio, but let me know if you can hear it. There today, and it's through. Everybody hear that? Just want to make sure I, I have the audio on and everything. Did everybody hear him say that a little bit there? You say it in the comments. Just say, yeah, I heard him. I'll, I guess I'll just play it. Okay, good. All right, now listen to what he says here. 40 minutes, 37 seconds. Listen to what this guy says. Through that blood and that blood alone that we can be saved. So Jesus Christ did the work of, of a sinner in, in killing himself. What? Je okay, quiet. Jesus did the work of a sinner in killing himself. Huh? Listen to some more. He wasn't a sinner. He was the innocent. He shed his own blood. And he shed his own blood? Huh? Let's, mm -hmm. let's hear that. Let's get back and do that again. Just I won't pause at this time. Listen to what he says. There today, and it's through that blood and that blood alone that we can be saved. So Jesus Christ did the work of, of a sinner in, in killing himself when he wasn't a sinner. He was the innocent. He shed his own blood. 
Okay, Jesus killed himself. He shed his own blood. Huh? I can't believe when I heard that, I thought, what in the world? What? Yeah. Okay, and I thought, okay, where's he going with this thing? Um, John chapter 10, verse 17 and 18. Let's look at that real quick here. Um, Therefore doth my father love me, because I lay down my life. Right? It doesn't say he killed himself. He laid down his life and let himself be killed. Mm -hmm. That I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my father. It's not saying that he killed himself. He did not commit suicide. Okay, there, faker breaker. Um, now let's go to Acts chapter 2. I will give you some supporting scriptures to show that Jesus did not kill himself. Just so warped. Acts chapter 2, verse 22 and 23. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which God did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know, him being delivered by the determinate counsel and foreknowledge of God, ye have taken and by wicked hands have crucified and slain. No, Jesus didn't kill himself. Okay, yeah. right there. The Jews were the ones that killed him. They killed their Messiah. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 7 through 8. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Jesus laid down his life, but it was the wicked that killed him. Yeah. It's insane. First Thessalonians chapter 2. And, then, you know, there's a lot more scriptures that we could go over here, but, you know, 1 Thess Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 14. For ye, brethren, became followers of the churches of God, which in Judea are in, are in Christ Jesus. For ye also have suffered like things of your own countrymen, even as they have of the Jews. In context here, it's talking about the Jews. Who both killed the Lord Jesus and their own prophets. And have persecuted us, and they please not God, and are contrary to all men, forbidding us to speak to the Gentiles that they might be saved, to fill up their sins always, for the wrath is come upon them to the uttermost. It's the Jews. The Jews are the ones that killed their Messiah. That's why he comes back at the second coming, and they're mourning. And they're saying, you know, we, we killed him. We're the ones that did this. If you're just tuning in, I'm going to play it one more time. Robert Breaker plainly says that Jesus killed himself. Okay? Here we go. Listen up. About 40 minutes and 37 seconds. There today, and it's through that blood and that blood alone that we can be saved. So Jesus Christ did the work of, of a sinner in, in killing himself when he wasn't a sinner. He was the innocent. He shed his own blood. He shed his own blood. He killed himself. Did the work of a sinner, he killed himself. Oh, boy. But I have one more proof here. Um, kind of an interesting thing. It's the Jews that killed Jesus. The lost Pharisees and the Sadducees and the scribes. They were the ones that were constantly going after Jesus' ministry because they were false. Got a little interesting one for you here. John chapter 8. Verse 21 and 22. Then said Jesus again unto them, I go my way, and ye shall seek me, and shall die in your sins. Whither I go, ye cannot come. Now look what the lost Jews say. Then said the Jews, Will he kill himself? Because he saith, Whither I go, ye cannot come. Will he kill himself? Hmm. They thought he was going to kill himself. Mm -hmm. Isn't that ironic? The same spirit that's there is the same spirit that Robert Breaker has. He's lost. Don't even tell me. Oh, stop attacking your brother in the Lord. Oh, please don't attack your brother breaker. He's not my brother. Yeah. Okay. He is a false prophet. For you to say such blasphemous things there, breaker. I know you're watching. For you to say that, you're on your way to hell, partner. Okay. You're disgusting. 
to say that Jesus killed himself. That's, I can't even fathom that. <laughs> That's what the lost Jews said. Will he kill himself? Jesus killed himself. So just wanted to bring that out. Like I said, it was doing the thing for this study over here and i thought you know, i'll just watch one of his studies you know i don't i don't watch much of his stuff i mean i went after steven anderson very hardcore after steven anderson started that in 2009 i started going after steven anderson because i could see that this guy's controlled opposition there was no question about it he's on info wars he's anti-jew he's a postie he's all this different stuff just radical crazy nut and i thought he's designed to make us look bad faker breaker came along in 2015 with could the rapture be in september of 2015 and i thought uh, and people are saying hey what do you think about this guy he's from pbi and everything oh wow another you know ruckman type of guy or whatever and i just kind of thought i don't know you know and i watched his study the original rapture thing that went ultra viral and all this stuff and i just kind of thought I don't know, you know, I see some issues here, but you know, I just didn't say much about Breaker. I just, whatever. And then I started hearing some things. People start sending me stuff, and I started to think, huh, uh-oh. And I just kind of, you know, he's he's lied, he's deceived. He has people inflating his numbers artificially. Obviously, he's up, up, over half a million subscribers, supposedly. Will not respond to my challenge. Of course not. Him and Gene Kim, they never will. I understand that. Because they can't prove that they actually have that many subscribers. It's artificial AI bots. Whatever. Um, but he's false. He's false. And this guy's going to lead a lot of people to hell. But I'm not loving because I'm attacking him. You people out there that defend this, you are so wicked. You are deserving of hell. You really are. I mean, if you really have the love of Jesus Christ in you, wouldn't you warn about somebody like this? That just blasphemed Jesus Christ? Made Jesus Christ a, a suicidal savior? <laughs> I serve a suicidal savior. He's in not in the world today, I guess. Jesus killed himself. He just said it. I played it a couple times. It's what the lost Jews said. All right. That's going to be it for this one. Um, if you want to have a, a little question and answer thing here, I can do a couple questions and answers real quickly. Here, of, I just I, I mean, there are certain heresies that take my breath away. That I just, I just, he didn't just say that, did he? I couldn't believe it when he said that. I'll, I'll, I'll play it one more time just in case somebody just tuned in. I'm going to play it one more time so everybody can hear it. I just, here we go. Jesus killed himself, according to Robert Breaker there today and it's through that blood and that blood alone that we can be saved so jesus christ did the work of of a sinner in in killing himself when he wasn't a sinner he was the innocent he shed his own blood okay yeah all right so uh, if that's what you believe out there if you're one of robert breaker's followers and you believe what he said get off my channel okay you come and you defend anybody defends us you're blocked instantly you blasphemous devil, you. I don't have time for you. Okay, I've presented the gospel over the years. I'm showing the truth here. If you defend what that devil just said right there, then your damnation is just. Okay, mm -hmm. enough said. All right. Um, question. Can you expose Michael Rowan of Michael Rowan Ministries sometime if I ever get time? Um, I don't know. It's... Uh, have you watched anything of Don Nesbitt exposing him? I think you'd like what he has to say regarding him. I've heard of some of that stuff, but I no, I haven't. I haven't had the time to look into that. Um, would it be sinful to work at McDonald's because of its purpose to sell burgers, which are not too healthy? Yeah, I understand. I mean, I worked at a sort of a somewhat of a fast food type of place, you know, as a young man. I understand. I had a, a brother years ago is in ministry with him and, and he was doing um he was filling uh vending machines and he was saying i don't really feel good you know uh putting doritos chips and then cheese curls and whatever else um so 
<clears throat> you defend Christmas, Christ Mass, chapter and verse. Um, I defend liberty. Okay, I don't I don't tell people that they have to celebrate Christmas. Romans chapter 14. I've preached it for years. I'd like to hear his perspective now since the video in question is seven full years old. Sure. Hey, Robert, go ahead and answer. Put up a video, put up a sermon showing the scriptures where Jesus committed suicide. Yeah, how did he kill himself, too? I mean, that's a trick. You know, he, he nailed himself to the cross. <laughs> okay, you know. How could yeah. he? That's, well, I mean, he's God, you know, I guess, you know, I don't, I just don't know how it worked. It wasn't in the Bible. So, you know, apparently Robert Breaker has a different, uh, whatever, standard of truth. Yeah. Um, he's his own God. Yeah. Um, always wondered about first John three, nine, some use it to teach sinless perfection. Any thoughts? Uh, it's. You get into that whole thing of teaching. It's basically a thing about imputed righteousness and, and whatnot. I think I might have a study on that. I'm not sure. Um, question. As a single woman, how should I be providing for myself? Very good question. Um, well, there's a, oh, there's a number of ways. It, I don't know if you're still living at home with your parents. If you are, then you then work around the house trying to help out your parents and things. Um, if you're single and on your own, that's a little bit more tricky. Um, I think that there are certain certain ways that a woman that's single can make a living without going away from the scriptures. Uh, Proverbs 31 woman, she made a living and um, she bought and sold things and whatever else, too. So she worked with her hands. Um, certainly, I think that there are ways to do that. The problem is when you start to pursue a career and you're sit over here please um when you start to really get career minded and really trying to get into positions where you're you know usurping authority over men and whatever that's a problem um that's what i would say to that question how would you respond to christian brothers who are concerned and worried that someone is not attending or is a member of an institutional church very simple just use the bible to say, where does the Bible teach us? And they will always go to Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25. And you say, okay, read the context. Is this written to Christians? Not really. And it says, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. Does the average church, is it all just saved people there? Yeah, I have a whole two different part study on the thing of Hebrews 10, 25. Um, just doesn't work. Uh, if somebody wants to do that. Question. In your previous video, are devils walking among us? You said that Kenneth Copeland was a devil. I agree. However, he has a son, so can devils have children like angels did in Genesis? Um, I I honestly don't know. You know, there's a lot of things there that are that uh, go on. I mean, and you just kind of say, okay, how is he born if he's a devil? You know, how does that work? You know, Judas Iscariot had a father. You know, he's mentioned in scripture. So it's kind of, you know. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't have an answer to that. Mm -hmm. Question, does the gospel of the kingdom refer to the current church age or from John the Baptist till Jesus' death? John the Baptist till Jesus' death is what I believe on that. The king has to be here in order to have the gospel of the kingdom preached. Can devils have children like angels did back in Genesis? Again, like I said, I don't know. Um, will we hear trumpets from heaven before the catching up of the body of Christ? No, it's the trump of God. God speaks and his voice sounds like a trumpet. You read about it in Revelation chapter 4. John says, you know, I heard a, a voice speaking as it were a trumpet talking with me. So trump is the word in the King James Bible. Um, and it only appears twice, I think. And it's Trump is the, the voice of the trumpet is what that word actually means in, in context. Is the United Nations part of the end times beast system? Yes. 
I do believe that. Um, you know, in certain ways, yeah, you know, subservient to the Vatican and everything else. But people get too sidetracked on the whole New Age, United Nations, New World Order, all this weird stuff that they do. But it's that system is eventually going to be merged into Roman Catholicism. Um, it's the woman that sits on the beast. Okay, not the United Nations. Uh, question, the preacher that runs the door YouTube channel put out a video recently that justifying divorce wicked fell. Yeah, Michael Pearl. Yeah, he's that guy there. He's a pervert. I don't, you know, think too much of that guy. Um, could you comment on the Bible software you use? Sword Searcher. Mine's really old. It's outdated. 5.4. Um, it has a, some good books in it and commentary and whatever else. It works well for me. So, any other questions? Okay, oh, just saw in there. Um, what's your next book going to be about? Uh, there's a couple different ideas I have on that. Um, working on some things there uh i'll be coming out with that later um how's it going with your wife's linux computer build thing um it's going had to get a new motherboard the one that we they sent us was a dud and she was trying to get the whole computer to work and it wasn't working um is it wrong to attack freemasons well physically i guess you could say that you probably shouldn't attack them physically but um you know, exposing them? No. What are your thoughts on Final Fight Bible Radio? I'm not, that sounds familiar, but I can't think of who that is right now. I, I don't know. I'd have to check it out or whatever. What would you do if you have a wife that insists that she keep going to Bible buildings even though you know it's not right? Um, explain it to her from the scriptures. And just say, why are you going to disobey the scriptures? And you have to pray for them a lot of times because they're social clubs and people feel like if I don't go, then I'll, you know, lose my salvation or get away from the Lord or something like that. Um, I grew up in a home where my dad, um, he wanted to go and, you know, have us go to see the grandparents, you know, Sunday evenings. And my mother was just, oh, no, we have to be in church. Every time the doors are open, we have to be in church. So I understand about the fighting that can go on there. Um, what do you say to someone who doesn't like your preaching because you use the Old Testament and God's judgment on a nation isn't spoken about in Paul and epistles? Um, the things that are written aforetime are written for our learning, Paul wrote about. Um, you can learn from anything, and especially the Old Testament. In the book of Daniel, it says, Craft will prosper in the son of perdition's hands at the end times. Is that Freemasonry or witchcraft or both? Um, both. <laughs> Definitely. There's and, and it'll be more than just Freemasonry and witchcraft, by the way. Witchcraft in the Bible also yokes up with the whole thing of pharmaceuticals, pharmacia. Um I find it interesting how God refers to himself as us and our throughout Genesis. This is in reference to the body, soul, and spirit of Godhead, right? Correct. Absolutely. Are you familiar with Nathan Reynolds? No, I am not. Um, any ideas on how and where to find the godly wife? Well, the comment section of my videos is sometimes a good one i've actually had a few people get meet somebody and end up getting married so 
Um, what about the Bible talking about the seven churches? Because my dad is a preacher and said that the Bible talks about it. What does the Bible say about it? The seven churches of Revelation. Um, there's some symbolic stuff that, that kind of uh, you can apply to different types of Christians, different types of church periods. Some really deep stuff going on with the seven churches in Revelation chapter 2 or, and, and then through chapter 3. But you have to be real careful when you try to doctrinally apply it because there's some stuff that's more for the time of Jacob's trouble. So it's an interesting study. How do you answer the question, if the KJV is God's perfect word, then what? why was the apocryphal books included? They put them between the Testaments. They were not part of the inspired text. They just put them in for historical value. Um, oop. Should a King James Bible believer be friends with someone that doesn't use the KJV? Well, you can witness to them and everything else, but uh, eventually they're going to try to pull you down to their level. Uh, what do I think of Jacob Prash? He's a post-tribber, I think. I don't think much of him, honestly. Um, thanks for your teaching on the Godhead. Enjoyed the teaching. Do you feel like you have exhausted this subject? Not even close. <laughs> That's it. You know, a lot of stuff on that. Um, question, John Todd. Um, was he real? Was he fake? I don't know. Uh, there's some major issues with that guy. Um, He's part of the whole, um, what's his name? The Baptist pastor. I can't think of his name right now. Sorry. Um, he's tied in with Ken Hovind and, and Fritz Springmeier and Steven Anderson and a bunch of other guys. Wrote a book uh, on the, the uh, pre-trib, post-trib or whatever, mid-trib uh, rapture or something. Maybe I'll think of his name. I don't know. What point in the book of Revelation do you think we are at? Um, pretty early into it. Uh, probably going into the thing of isolation as Christians. Um, when King Saul went to the witch of Endor to seek a dead prophet Samuel, was it really him that showed up or was it a devil? I heard lots of different answers on this one. I, no, I think it was Samuel that showed up. Um, have you seen I'm not really sure what you're saying there. I don't know if I want to read that one out loud. Um, what do you make of the mention of the seven spirits of God in the book of Revelation? It's just seven different you know attributes of the Holy Spirit, I believe. Kind of like the nine you know fruits, it's not really fruits of the spirit. the fruit of the spirit is and it lists nine different things. Um, the comment thing just zipped up on me. Did you have any success with the Solomon Seal? Yes, actually, it's helped quite a bit. Uh, my back is pretty much back to normal, so thank you very much for recommending that. I really do appreciate that. Still taking it, so really good. Um, What happens when a Christian commits suicide? They uh, forfeit their a lot of judge or a lot of uh, rewards with the judgment seat of Christ. So, greetings just got here. Hi, Sister Chantre. I have to play it for you then, since you just got here. You didn't get to hear what Breaker said. You can go back and see the whole thing when I go over the scriptures, but. This guy teaches that Jesus killed himself. Okay, I'll play it one more time because this is just so unreal. Here we go. Listen to this. There today, and it's through that blood and that blood. It's 40 minutes and 37 seconds. Just listen. Alone that we can be saved. So Jesus Christ did the work of, of a sinner in, in killing himself when he wasn't a sinner. He was the innocent. He shed his own blood. It... So there you go. He did the work of a sinner in killing himself. He shed his own blood. Yeah, so you can watch the whole thing of her sister, but it, it's unreal. I mean, I, I was doing some research for a study that's coming up here, and I watched this whole thing. Oliver's sitting here beside me, and, and we both got to that point and went, huh? huh? Hey, what did he just say? <laughs> just thinking, huh? So, um, oops. 
want to click on what I want. Okay, there we go. Will Trinitarians confuse the Trinity with the seven spirits of Revelation? Yeah, they try to do that. I try to say how many spirits are in uh, the Trinity, and they say, uh, well, you know, I say there's just one spirit. And they say, well, actually, it says seven. <laughs> that's how they try to use it. Um, that's not a good idea. I kind of make a problem there. If there's three of them, three different persons, how do you divide that with seven different spirits? So, um, yeah. So, all right. Did Jesus die before he was impaled by the spear? This is where I'll end it here. Um, yes, he did. And that is going to be part of an upcoming study. Thank you very much for that question. And uh, so I'm going to end the broadcast now. But I uh, just want to do a quick one today. Just showing that just utter blasphemy from Robert Breaker. His suicidal savior, apparently, um, killed himself. And shed his own blood yeah okay even though the scriptures plainly teach against that acts chapter 2 verse 22 through 23 the one we read um john chapter 10 verse 17 through 18 first corinthians 2 verses 7 through 8 first thessalonians chapter 2 verse 14 through 16. so uh there, all those and as i said in the earlier part of the video the people that said you know will he kill himself uh, they were lost jews Okay, so that kind of puts you in mind of what Robert Breaker is. He's not a Jew, but I'm saying he's lost. So that's going to be it. I'm going to be doing this study here, coming out with that, and um, some other big stuff coming up. So um, we will see everybody in future videos. Thank you very much for watching.